Right guys, Scaft is back with the explanation and build tutorial to penetration. That's what we're going to call it. I'm not going to bother telling you what you need, but you will see what you need as you watch this video. So you're going to need a couple of cards. Good idea to use a face card. It doesn't matter what the other one is, but you will probably want a face card because the, the face will hide some of the stuff going on. So you're going to want a couple of cards. Right, you are going to cut a circular hole in the non-face card, big enough to put a pen through. So I'm going to use a template. This is a small magnet, a circular magnet. I'm going to use that as a template to cut around. Now I prefer the hole to be here. So I'm going to put my template about here. But you do need to make sure that your hole is going to be inside of the border. Make sure it's inside of the border edge of this card because this border will hide some of the cuts. So I can see that that is in the border about where it is there. So I'm going to get a bit of tape and I'm just going to fold this over and stick down this magnet roughly where it needs to be just so it will hold it there as a template. And I'm pretty sure that will be fine. That will be inside of the border edge, yeah. Now I'm going to get my chopping block. And because I'm going to push the pen through this way, I'm going to cut from the face. So I've got my template. You do want a really sharp knife. A really sharp knife really helps. I'm struggling to find a sharp knife, but... Doing this in one motion, one cut, is much better than fiddling about after. So, slight angle, and we're going to cut around this template. Like I say, if you've got a sharp knife, you'll cut around this in one go, and it will be much better and much tidier. See, that hasn't cut through all the way because my knife is a little bit blunt. But because of COVID and lockdown, I can't get to my usual shops. Oh, there we go. Is it holding on a little bit here? There we go. We're going to keep this piece. So I'm going to pull that off there. Keep this little piece you've cut out because you're going to stick it back in in a minute. You will notice there's a bit of a burr on there. So I would get something and just rub the burr off. And then this piece should hopefully, if I can pick it up, go back in this hole. Which way round will it be? This way like that. And when you look from this side, you will not hardly see it. Certain lights you'll see it, but generally you won't notice that. But make sure you keep hold of this piece. So that's the first bit done. Second bit is you're going to make a hole in this card. You're going to make sure that the hole goes past where the bottom of the hole is. So I can see it's at the bottom of the diamond. So I'm going to come up here, down here, but no cut across this side, so just up and down. Now you do want to angle your knife, not vertically, but away from the card a little bit, away from the centre. Let me just make sure whereabouts that is. Right, I need to go just past the edge of the diamond, look. So I'm pretty much going to go to this line here, because her face will hide this line as well. You can do this freehand if you want. I've got to go just past the base of the diamond, which is about there. Hopefully that's gone all the way through. That's it. So what that is going to be, that's going to be a little, a little flap, which is going to open this way downwards. So you've cut these three lines out. You need to turn this over now. 
and score a line where these two cut lines meet but you're only going to go through the top layer of paper and card not all the way through so just nice and gentle so you're going to create a little hinge here you might have to do this a couple of times but just don't put too much pressure on you only want to cut through the top layer of paper and card this wants to be really quite free so you might have to score it a few times rather score it a few times and go too deep the first time so that's nice and free it's basically just holding on with the paper edge now you will find some burrs on this as well which you can just take the burrs off so it will end up closing like that and you can hardly see it right keep all my bits next up is you're going to get yourself a small balloon or a balloon of any description and you're going to cut the neck off it and then you're going to cut down the length inside and open the balloon up so you're in this position you've got a little piece of elastic about this long from a balloon and you're going to stick one bit up the top of this little window and you're going to stretch it down and put another piece down here like that so for this bit you are going to need some super glue so be careful you don't stick everything together like I generally do so you want a little bit of glue at the top not right on the top just enough to stick the balloon down making sure that's stuck and you're going to pull this down with a bit of tension and stick it down here but when you're tensioning this elastic you do need to keep your fingers on the card as soon as you let go the card will want to fold up on itself now there's one item I do appear to have forgotten so I'm just going to quickly run and get my box I just need to get my glue stick but I'll just wait for that glue to hold I'll be 10 seconds Right, I'm back from the box and I've got my glue stick. Right, I want to get this glue stick ready because this is always a pain in the neck. Get the lid off, get the thing ready. Because now you're going to stick this balloon down the, down the card a bit. You can put a bit more glue down this one, it doesn't matter, just to make sure that it sticks. And make sure you don't stick your fingers to it. Get that glue off there see that's stuck nice and quickly right you need to get this card off here now but don't release tension otherwise this balloon will want to fold everything up and it can spoil it so you've got this little window look and it's spring loaded so now what you're going to do is glue stick this card but don't put any glue stick over this part of the balloon because this is then going to get stuck over the top like that so no glue stick where the actual balloon is because that will take the tension away And now you're going to get this one and you're going to stick it square it up nice and square and stick it all down now like I've said in the past I would put this let me just move this a minute I would put this in something maybe a deck of cards for instance Put some hard on it leave it in a book for a, a little while come back to it in a bit so you know that it is the glue as set and it set the card and the card is flat 
the worst thing in the world is you've stuck all this down and there's a slight bend in the card. So I would suggest putting this in a book, pressing it for a good 10 or 15 minutes, go and have a voddy or a cup of tea or whatever. Come back to it in a bit, but I haven't got that time, so I'm telling you what to do. So do as I say, not as I do. So you should be in this position now. It is pretty much hidden from this side. Certain lights you'll see something, but there is a little. So now you're going to get your little piece you cut out earlier on. And you're going to stick it in the hole. Right, that needs to be perfectly lined up. So when it's round this way, you'll see it in certain lights, but it is there. So you can see a slight bend in this card, that's why I would say press this, wait for the glue to set. So what you're going to do, oh that might have stuck, there might have been a bit of glue there. Oh there is, brilliant. What I was going to say is you need to then stick this to the balloon. Oh no, it's not glue, it's just friction. Ah, crap. I thought I was in for a lucky one then. You're going to stick this to that. So I would just glue stick, a little bit of glue stick on the face. And now stick it back in. Right, make sure everything's lined up. This is quite tricky because it just wants to stick to everything. But you do need to line this up perfectly. And it is difficult because you've got glue all over it. Which is in fact really tricky. There we go. Push that over, press it down to stick it. There we go. So that is the penetration gimmick built. So hopefully now you can take a pen and push it through. Obviously you have got a flap on the other side, so you'd be careful with your angles. But you can pull this pen out and just do a little bit of magic and the hole is restored. From this side, a lot of the mess is hidden in the border of the card, sorry. This side, it looks a little bit scruffy on this side in all honesty to me. I don't know if you can pick up on it. But that is purely because my knife wasn't sharp enough. And if you've got a knife which has got a curved blade, that would be better. Proper craft knife. And like I say, press this in a book. But that's it, that's taken 13 minutes. Um, you can pretty much find everything in your house for this. Uh, everyone's got party balloons, glue stick, um, whatever this shit's called. Super glue, couldn't even get me words out. So that is it guys. That is how to build the penetration gimmick. Comment, subscribe, like guys, and come back tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.